All right, now I'm checking out Zom 100, Bucket List of the Dead. I found out they actually got a movie too, but I'm just do the series real quick. It's four episodes, 24 minutes apiece. Let's just get episode one. So we got this dude by the name of Kerry. He's just chilling in his room. His pace is a fucking pigsty. He's watching like zombie movies on TV. But apparently he wasn't always like this. See, three years ago, he gets this job working for companies or whatever like that. They make commercials. He was so happy to be there. He had a lot of optimism. Getting to know his co-workers. He meets his lady by name, Miss Atori or whatever like that. He thinks she's so cute and everything. Those co-workers are nice to him, you know what I'm saying? And he tells them that he used to play rugby when he was in high school. He gives you that feeling of, yay, we're going to accomplish a lot of things here. But boy, oh boy. He's doing like nonstop work. The first day he's there, he's there for like two days straight doing work, 24 hours. It's one of those nonstop type of jobs, you know what I'm saying? And it's pretty much like that for like a whole year. He's still kind of optimistic that things will get better. And the reason that he's even there is because of Mr. Tommy. That's the only thing that keeps him going at this point. But then we find out she's been smashing the boss. So he never really tried to approach her. He's pretty much like tired all the time. We get to like three years in, these, this nigga don't be taking no breaks. Nobody ever at that company has ever taken a vacation. He's so drained at work, he's thinking about committing suicide. I'm like, what the fuck? So it gets to a point where he's got to go to work again, right? But he's like, oh, he forgot to pay this uh, bike um, parking pass or something like that. So he goes downstairs to try to talk to the landlord about paying this thing. But all of a sudden, you see the landlord get eaten by a fucking zombie. We're like, oh shit, it's real now. Then he's running around, all these zombies come out of nowhere. He's like balling. I think it's to the point he really doesn't even care about the zombies no more. He's just thinking to himself like, wait a minute, do I got a day off of work? <laughs> He's so happy just to be free from work. <laughs> then he talks about all the stuff he was thinking about doing, but obviously didn't have time to do because he was at work all the time. Then he's thinking to himself he wants to see a Tommy because he's like, man, fuck that. I don't care if she a side chick. I'm going to tell her how I feel. So he ends up going to a door, opens up the door, come to find out the boss is in there, and he's a daggone zombie too. So he just charges full speed and pushes about a damn window. I'm like, what the fuck? Then he looks over to the left and sees Mr. Tommy, but guess what? She's a zombie too. So then he gets a body and he dips out. So basically at this point, he's about to get about the city going on his little adventure. But first he goes into this like uh, convenience store, gets some food, some supplies, and he gets a pen and a pad. And he's going to write down a hundred things that he wants to do before he dies. And that's why it's called Zom 100. So like I said, it's a quick little watch. It's four episodes, 24 minutes apiece. But check that out. Might have checked out the movie too. Zombie 100, bucket list of the dead on Netflix. Check it out.